when I wanna get close We a little wild war Covered in tattoos Run it up, taking all the views Stepping on place, feeling the fear I know you feeling it in the air Whole squad wearing all black Motivations looking real bad huh? We back to the bone Raising a fire alone We ain't never needed nobody Give me six feet, this is my party Ain't got no feelings, we heartless Take a peek inside the darkness Blow up the spot, then we run it Ready or not, here we coming Somebody better So we got Frogs 88 to 98 OBS sitting here we kind of jumped ahead a little bit because we're about ready to get a huge snowstorm. And as you can see behind me, we're kind of bringing it back old school. Do what you got to do to get shit done. We got the canopy up, sides on. Hopefully that fucking keeps us out of the weather. We're going to do our best to uh, knock this out in three days, even with the weather being permitting. But uh, see what we can do. We can get it done, we can get it done. If not, Fuck, I guess it's just another mini trucker's dream down the shithole. <laughs> I get it done, show you guys some cool footage, and uh, follow along. Blow up this spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we coming. Woo! Somebody better say a prayer for Good morning, me. everybody. Back here at Cold Heart TV. We did get the snow we was looking at getting, but that's not going to deter, detour us. We're actually going to get this three-day body drop going. Still get you guys on Saturday on a live feed so you can watch everything live. Hope to see you on there. Enjoy. We're here in day one of working on frogs, 88 to 98 OBS. So the first thing of order, we need to get the front end off, properly label everything, get the course poured out so that we can get to the frame horns on the front of the truck so that way we can start body dropping the front. It is extremely important to make sure everything's labeled right, put in bags, catalog, however you want to say it. So that way, when you go to put this thing back together, it's completely perfect. With that being said, we need to get on there, get this thing done, because we ain't got much time. shit out already obviously you can see me and DJ are both dressed up like fucking you know street workers I don't know what you want to call it we're out, right, we're out here ready to be in the cold so we got the interior knocked out front end off DJ's working on getting the rear end stripped out so we can get in there and put the new tubing in he's got the interior out so that's ready to get tubbed the first guys that did it never did so we're going to go in do some mini tubs with the body drop and uh we're gonna try to fight this cold before it gets too dark. Get on to day two. Getting into a front is our next step after getting all this crap off. You wanna go in, get all this. Actually, this truck is really nice. Somebody's already pulled everything and painted it all back, satin black. All I'm doing is gonna get that paint off of the frame down to bare metal, mark where I need to go, and then we're gonna end up cutting these front horns the two and a half inches, drop them down, tack weld them, and then we'll be good to go on the front. So hopefully by tonight we'll have this body dropped in the front. I'll tell you guys, whenever you go to body drop a truck, if it's your first time, one of the biggest things I've always ran into on these front horns is I don't ever think about, or I, I would never think about where the radiator was going to drop through, or anything that's above there, because everything that was sitting right here is going to drop down two and a half inches so you got to think the radiator uh cooler lines whatever else you might have attached to the front of that is going to drop down with it and sometimes i have to go back and cut it back more taper it 
angle it, whatever. So before you do this, just make sure that you plan out where you're gonna go with this stuff. Okay, so in this process, what I'm doing first is I'm checking the degree or the level of the truck. When you're putting these things on, if you're doing them at home in your driveway, you don't always have to have a perfectly level surface. Now, I'm not trying to tell you some backyard bullshit. I'm just saying if you're in a pinch or if you're trying to do something like this, Whatever you're gonna let, get the truck as level as you can, but if it's a little bit off, just make sure that when you go to level, whatever piece is gonna follow with the truck, that you match it. So that way, no matter what, when this truck lays back out and comes off the jack stands, the frame with the piece that you're doing is gonna be the same in, the, in reality. So what you're gonna see is tackling over here is we got the two by three tubing quarter wall. We're actually gonna be getting all the surface rust and all the crap that's on from leaving it outside. It's also good, we're gonna go through the metal finish it, get all the rust off, make it clean, and get it on the truck. So last night we ended up running out of daylight, but we also kind of lost a little bit of footage of what my uh, marks here are. Came in, planned out where the radiator is going to come through here when we do the initial body drop. So marked my line where I'm going to cut. This is my restoration mark. Don't pay attention to that one, but this is going to be that one right there. Sorry two and a half inch so when i cut this this line right here on this side is going to drop down and be level with that line that will show me that i'm right at my two and a half and i'll tack weld it right there we'll come back in and box plate everything make it strong and tight we did get last night the support rod in there so that way whenever i go to body drop this whole thing this rail and this rail will move simultaneously and it'll keep them both at the same spot tack them in the same place where i got both my restoration marks and we will tack weld up box it like i said and get moving on okay awesome we got the front end off course poured off now we're ready to step up to the front body drop we're going to cut the front frame horns get that part done, get everything cleaned up, moved out of the way, drop those down, get them welded on. It's day two, we got one more day to achieve this body drop. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna get there.
Here we are, day two, night almost here at Cold Hearted TV. We are just about ready to see this thing body drop. We got it tub, got the front body drop, and I think that's it. I can hope tomorrow we'll see this thing on the ground, guys. So, there was a lot of people following us along on TikTok on the three-day body drop. If you've been following along, you already know. But on day three, about eight o'clock, we ran out of welding gas. The body drop was completed, just not fully welded up. So, gotta go run to the, had to go run to the welding supply store, get everything refilled. Uh, pay attention to welding bottles before you try starting a uh, three-day challenge. It happens. Hey, but we did achieve it. The truck, the cab, the cab in the front were body dropped, new frame rails in, body mounts dropped, tacked in, just not everything was fully welded up. But we have moved forward. We did get the uh, whole frame completely done. It is completely retextured with bed liner. The front is done. The interior we've started with the sheet metal work. We have uh, DJ has started working on the stone custom fab arms up front. He's uh, got the whole front frame completely cleaned, even fixed a few things that was going on with the front of that truck. Not talking bad about the people that did it before us, but just a little bit of thing, a few things that weren't up to our quality. So he went through, redid that, resupported some stuff, uh, made it look pretty, and we're gonna start getting that tackled. Moving on to that, man, once that stuff goes on, I mean, it's literally just start throwing this truck together. We're gonna end up, uh, man, I'm, I'm finger, fingers crossed, and I keep saying that, but hopefully by the time, this time next week, we will have a completely running truck again. Gotta get to it. Wish us luck.